Clem Ford, ladies and gentlemen, she's been a naughty girl. She's been saying something in media. She says that not enough men have died from COVID-19, the corona, the corona crisis. So we're going to talk about that tonight. What do you think of that, ladies and gentlemen, on the report from Tiger Mountain? Clem Ford! <laughs> yes, she thinks not enough men have died from the corona crisis. Um, obviously, you know, that's a pretty terrible statement to make, particularly right in the middle of the actual crisis itself. I mean, me personally, I find Clem Ford to be amusing. I find her ridiculous kind of misandrous statements to be kind of colourful and maybe like the, the, the anti-Andrew Dice Clay, you know what I mean? Like a, like a kind of, uh, you know, like you've got some kind of misogynist comedians like uh, Andrew Dice Clay who makes the odd misogynist statement and you've got Ben Ford balancing things out. I find it kind of more amusing than anything else. But, you know, um, I guess, you know, she really does go too far sometimes. I think this new statement that, yes, I mean, in, right in the middle of a pandemic, saying that, that you know, she wished more uh, men, or at least half the population, or, you know, I mean, can you imagine if uh, anybody within the public community had said the opposite, and they'd said that, gee, not enough women are dying, you know what I mean? I mean, that just goes to show how ridiculous. I mean, she, she would have been terribly upset if some, I don't know, let's say some male figure, some male politician in Australia had made that statement, not enough women are dying from COVID-19, she would be terribly upset by that statement. So the odd thing about someone like Clem Ford, the fact that she, you know, she detests misogyny, but she's so happy to throw out misandry, which is, you know, male hating. You know, this goes to show, in a, in a way, she almost like legitimizes misogyny because she's constantly making misandry statements. She figured, well, I guess, you know, I guess when you look at Clem Ford, you think, well, I guess it's okay to say whatever the fuck you like about men and to wish them dead or say horrible statements about them. I guess maybe it's okay to say that about women as well. Oddly enough, she legitimizes misogyny, if you, if, if you really think about it. So, um, she's such a weird woman, and, and this is one of the reasons I do think we need to condemn her, because she's just, she's part of this new left identity, radical identity politics that's poisonous. And, you know, I do think um, she gets a lot of grants from the government as being one of these lefty darlings. She's, I mean, that's how she lives, basically. She just hasn't got a job. She just gets these grants given to her by, you know, arts funding bodies and newspapers and, you know, like The Guardian and things like this. And, you know, now they're getting nervous about giving her these grants. And that's good. I think that's where you should hit her. You should, you know, go to show that this poisonous misandry that she keeps promoting will get her grants taken away from her, as she probably deserves to. She doesn't deserve to get these grants. So um, I think that's where you should hit her, in the sense, you know, in her hip pocket. And... Um, this make her wake up that this poisonous kind of misandrous politics is a dead end. And, you know, I mean, her father, I mean, I mean, this girl, Clem Ford, she's got to have daddy issues, doesn't she? Apparently her father is, um, is a One Nation candidate, which probably explains everything. Her father's probably a radical right winger and she's probably had this growing up. And so this has turned her into a male hater and she hates daddy and she hates all men because she hates daddy. And uh, so this is just, you know, it explains everything in relation to someone like Clem Ford, probably. Um, she's an amusing woman in many ways. As I said, I, I always take what she says and does with a pinch of salt. Um, I, I do defend her, her freedom of speech, though. I mean, you know, she would want to shut down the freedom of speech of someone like me, but I, I don't. I support her right to say what the hell she likes. I think she should lose her grants because these grants are always being politically correct and she's always pushing a politically correct agenda. So it's fair enough that this political correctness should come around and bite her on the ass, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I think she should lose her grants, but I do actually defend her, her right to say whatever kind of ridiculous nonsense she likes. And I think I recommend to everyone to, you know, not take her seriously. Take her with a pinch of salt because she isn't serious. She's ridiculous. And that's what I've got to say on Clem Ford on the report from Tiger Mountain.